Paytel presents Fantastic, a great new album. The ads were unmistakable. The products? Introducing Ktel's Hair Magician. Things most people never even imagined they'd need or even want. The handle of these knives. That was Phil Kivas, fast talking, always selling, the founder of Ktel. I honestly believe that if you're ambitious and if you've got willpower and you think positive, and I've said this so many times, that you can accomplish impossible things in life. 24 happening hits from Ktel. Ktel stood for Kivas Television. Kivas stood for sales. A one-time door-to-door salesman who realized early that TV, and lots of it, was the best way to reach the masses. I look at something that has a broad base. In other words, every household could use one. The world's most popular brush is back. With products like the Miracle Brush, Winnipeg-based KTEL, founded in the late 60s, was in more than 100 countries by the early 80s, with a sale every one and a half seconds, while basically inventing the infomercial. But they would bombard the airwaves, so they would carpet bomb the uh, airwaves with advertisements for these records. It was impossible to miss. Hi, I'm Liberace. For all my friends in Canada, KTEL has put together this exciting album. Kiva's greatest success came from relicensing and repackaging hit songs in compilation albums. They were really thin, lousy vinyl records. Music journalist Alan Cross grew up on those records. Along with the big stars, he says Kivas included a lot of Canadian talent. What they ended up doing was actually promoting Canadian talent to other parts of the world as well. The k style was often made fun of. k fast-talking playhouse. That's right, classic, specially condensed. Still, the success was huge. But to quote those old ads... And wait, there's more! k fortunes took a turn in the 80s. Rapid expansion and bad investments took it to bankruptcy. But Kivas cut deals with banks. k made a comeback. Up until the end, he was still selling gadgets and milking music royalties in the iTunes world. I get paid, yeah. I get paid for I like that. He once said he built his empire on ads featuring words like amazing and incredible. Those words also define his career. Phil Kivas was 87. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.